My name is Dr. Margaret Wilson. I'm the Dean of the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine. Some of my responsibilities as the Dean of the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine is to oversee the academic curriculum and the academic achievement and advancement of, of students. I also oversee the faculty and all the staff that are engaged in uh, the academic uh, curriculum. The model of training we use at KSUM in includes uh, uh, first and second year curriculum, which is more traditional didactic based, although we have a number of very unique and innovative uh, technological applications, including our ultrasound curriculum. Then in third and fourth year training, our students have the opportunity to go to clinical sites around the country. They might choose to work in a more urban setting with underserved populations at a large academic institution, or they perhaps might serve in a more rural setting working with uh, uh, primary care doctors in, in underserved and in, in rural geographic uh, training sites. You know, many things have changed since I went to medical school here at KSUM. Uh, obviously, the healthcare system has grown and evolved, and the, the body of uh, medical knowledge and evidence has grown tremendously. But when you look back and see what the osteopathic profession first laid as a foundation, we led the way in what we now call a high-touch, high-tech um, approach to medical care. We here at KSWIM uh, have always felt that patients came first, the mind, the body, the spirit. You know, the osteopathic profession is unique in what it has to offer. We were the first in what is essentially holistic medicine. Our founder, A.T. Still, was the first to focus on whole person and patient-centered health care. And, and today, um, you know, the whole medical profession is, is adopting uh, that approach uh, to medical care.